My 29 meters wife 28F is pregnant but I've found out she's been cheating on me on regular too. Story 1. Okay so it's only been a day since I made the original post but there's been a new development. It's no longer entirely about whether should forgive her and more about where to go from here. I won't make any more updates unless asked or if something major happens. So. I confronted my friend, he lives close to my parents beach house where I'm staying so I invited him over to have a chat. Here is a quick sequence of events. So after some casual exchanges, I sat him down, I could tell he was confused, perhaps nervous, but he had a smugness about him. I wasn't looking my best but I could tell he was thinking I looked tired. I sat him down, I'm gonna type in script format cause it's easier, I've had a few drinks. Me, how's wife him, I don't know, last time I saw her was at yours. Me, right, cause I know what gone on. I left it as open ended as possible to see if he would confess to something I didn't already know. After some denial and feigned confusion, he finally makes his confession. Him. She told you we've been ducking? His words not mine. Me, not in detail but yes, that's why I'm here. Him, yeah well, she wasn't lying. After that, I went on to ask him a series of questions that I regret asking a bit of emotional self-harm I guess but he was more than happy to answer, which was painfully off-putting. Things like, how often, when, where, among other more embarrassing things I wish I didn't know the cause now it's playing in my mind like crazy and I'm a big ducking idiot. The one thing he denies with certainty is the child isn't his. I don't know why he's so sure but I am inclined to believe him for some reason. Anyway. I want to give my baby the best life possible, I did everything right, I make money, I'm attractive, I work out, I treated my wife like the goddess I truly believed she was. All she had to do was let me love her and I would have given her and our child everything. We just bought a home when she told me she was pregnant I was over the moon only to have this happen. After this encounter, my friend offered to hang out to make sure I was okay we've been friends for years and knows I've suffered from mental health issues in the past and he was being a good guy by looking out for me but frankly I think he wanted to stay and drink all my booze whilst laughing in my face been sleeping with my wife. I punched him, he said he deserved it and he left. I messaged my wife telling her I know the relationship was ongoing she responded with let's talk about this in person I said I didn't want to look at her, she didn't respond. Anyway here's the advice part. Naturally, I think the obvious step now is to leave her. I really don't want to. I know that's not what I'm supposed to say I know I'm supposed to want to enact revenge and give her he come uppings, leave her out on her ass with nothing, but that's just not in me. I had a plan for my life and that plan included her, I know people don't have an easy time online believing that things can be more than black and white. I thought she loved me, those were the first words I'd hear from her every day. If she wasn't pregnant I would leave and I'm still considering leaving, I just want to know how to go about being a good father and ex-husband, ideally, I'd gain main custody, but as we know that's not usually easy for the guy. Financial support is an obvious one. Secondly, I want to know where to go from here. Do I see her in person? I don't want more details to cause what my friend told me is enough disgusting information to last me a traumatic lifetime. She currently in our home and I didn't plan for this because I ducking wasn't expecting this. No prenup, my parents are wealthy bohemian artist types there will be no help emotionally. They were swingers for Christ's sake. I hate this. TLDR, Turn out my friend and my wife have been sleeping together more often than just once typical I want to leave but I will, I want to be a good father to the child currently in her womb, which my friend insists is not him despite admitting to everything else. I've been intoxicated for what feels like 24 hours, I don't know where to go from here as I've never planned for a divorce. Update, I've gotten some consistent sleep and even though I've slept all day I feel rested. I've organized to see my wife she said she will make us dinner and we will sit down and discuss what happens next, I know a lot of people have said not to see her or talk to her but I have to know why. I also have to tell her I want a paternity test. I've really appreciated all the kindness and criticism sent my way. I feel like I have a small community on my side which has helped me get through this in a healthier way. Perhaps it's been a distraction but regardless I've needed this. I want to keep everyone interested updated because it helps me feel heard. Thanks again. Update 2, so the dinner happened. She made my favorite meal. She was dressed up beautifully. 
She was really trying to just make it hard for me. Upon entering the house I was excited to see her. I had spent the whole time in the car practicing what I was going to say and trying to think about all the ducked up things my friend told me to work myself up, but upon entering the house and smelling her cooking and perfume I was struggling. After she tried to greet me with a kiss but I nudged her off of me, she offered me a drink, which I accepted and I sat down at the table, she served me my food and sat down. We sat in silence for a bit whilst I ate I hadn't eaten since finding out so to my surprise I was able to get in a few bites before the anxiety of the situation got the best of me. I finished my drink and as she was making me another drink I finally said so why did you do it? Her response at first was I don't know. This pissed me off, how could she not ducking no? So I repeated myself, this is when she seemed to open up a little more, perhaps she could sense I was getting frustrated. She sat down and explained to me that she just felt trapped and she just needed something separate from me, in more detail but that was the gist, she insisted she loved me but sometimes she needs a break from reality. I asked her if the baby was mine, she said yes. I asked her how she was certain and she said that my friend has had a vasectomy. I feel like that's something he would have told me so I said I didn't believe her and I want a paternity test. She graciously agreed, of course, she did. She's always been gracious and receptive to my ideas. After she agreed I asked if she was unhappy why didn't she talk to me, if she needed a break from reality I would have paid for a vacation or a spa week or if she wanted to start a side hobby at something I would have been in full support. As I was saying this I began to cry. She got up and cradled my head against her chest. This is where I ducked up I just held her and cried as she comforted me she lifted my head and started kissing me I didn't push her off for a few minutes I knew this was the last time I would have an intimate moment with her and I wanted to mourn her embrace. I snapped myself out of it after a while and stood up abruptly I went to the bar and made myself one last drink and told her, after the test we'd be getting a divorce. This is where she began to cry and kept telling me I had to be there for our baby and she won't be able to be the best mother she can be without having her strength I am her strength apparently by her side. After some back and forth I was about to leave but she said I should stay because I was drinking. So I did, I went to sleep in the guest room, but she insisted we just sleep in the same bed together for old time's sake. She tried to hold me in her sleep I let her but I remained limp in her arms. Then as soon as the sun began to rise I snuck out. I'm back at the beach house. I called a lawyer. Last update? I am back at my home she is also here, we are not sleeping in the same room and no I'm not taking her back, it'll just be easier to organize the divorce this was. It was my idea, not hers. We tried to have as time on my first day back. I couldn't make it work, too many images of her and my friend. She seems to have accepted the divorce. She's pleaded a little and insists she loves me. I told her I still love her but can't forgive her after that we haven't communicated much. I've been in contact with my lawyer. I'm meeting a girl tonight. I was not advised by my lawyer to see anyone during this time but I need this. I'm doing better, I had a dark moment where I thought of some dark things. But quickly snapped out of it once I thought of my potential child. I also am worth so much to so many people I am ready to play human again. I really appreciate everyone checking in on me even days later. Things have moved so fast I'm shocked at how quickly one's life can change. I received a drunken phone call from my friend and I have an idea of why he did what he did to me and it's no excuse and I don't forgive him but the phone call is probably what pulled me out of the slump I was in. He basically admitted being resentful and envious of me which was an ego boost at least. Thanks again to everyone. TLDR, I nearly gave in to her, but I didn't she said she needed something separate from me which is why she cheated and that the baby can't be my friend cause he's had a vasectomy. I told her I didn't believe her and wanted a paternity test anyway. We ended up sharing the same bed but I snuck out. She tried to convince me to stay. I've contacted a lawyer. Story 2. Update. Wife cheated after 13 years together. Hi everyone. TL, DR partner of 13 years, 3 years married, has had an affair for the last year and is still talking to the man she cheated with, despite me telling her that if we are to continue I need that relationship to end. A little background, my wife 28F and I 28M have been together for 13 years. 
we started dating when we were roughly 16, never broke up, and got married three years ago. We had the kind of relationship that others were jealous of, and everyone always expected us to get married when we were younger. Over the past year and a half to two years things started changing between us. Some issues came up with her family and she started to become more and more distant, both emotionally and physically, starting being super protective of her phone, and grew closer and closer with a male co-worker. Long story short I snooped yes, I know this is bad on her phone because I had a feeling something was going on based off a variety of factors and found incriminating texts confirming that she was having an affair with this guy. When I confronted her early September she owned up to it saying that it had been going on for a year. They had been having the affair in our home, sleeping together in the bedroom that would eventually be the room where our future children slept. She apologized, saying it would never happen again and I told her that in order for us to move on I need her to have no contact with the person she cheated on me with. Two months later and they are still talking occasionally, with her saying it is unfair of me to ask her to not talk to someone she considers a close friend. I honestly don't know what to do at this point. I am trying to see if I can move on, but I feel like I can never trust her again. I feel like her choosing to be in touch with him still shows that she is choosing their relationship over ours. I am just totally torn on what my gut is telling me. She also told me not to tell any of our friends what is going on, so I don't even have someone to talk to. Sorry, this was a bit of a rant but it's the first time I have written it all out, and I really do not know how to proceed or how to cope with this. Edit was not expecting this large of a reaction. Outside a few of you that seem to think nasty replies are appropriate when someone has their entire life crumble around them, this was helpful. I know what I need to do, I just need to rip off the band-aid and do it. I am going to call the lawyer I spoke to a few weeks ago tomorrow and see how he says I should approach the situation.